Taliban banned women from using male doctors. The Taliban in the Bokh, Bokh? I don't know, the, when the he is at the end, that really messes me up, Bokh province of Afghanistan, has reportedly implemented a new measure banning women from seeing male doctors. In addition, it plans to create separate working spaces for male and female hospital workers and forbid male doctors from entering rooms with female patients. This move comes after a series of measures by the Taliban to suppress women's rights in Afghanistan since their takeover in 2021 after a U.S. military withdrawal. The ban has received criticism from journalists, activists, and experts. Sahar Fatsarat of Human Rights Watch, an expert on women's rights issues and a native of Afghanistan, said that while her organization has not yet confirmed these reports, quote, it doesn't seem impossible given the Taliban's continuous infringement on women's rights and restriction of women's access to basic rights and facilities. Last November, the Taliban said that they seek to train more female doctors as part of a broader plan to increase gender segregation in the country. However, the supported effort of the regime contradicts its well-documented efforts to eliminate secondary education for Afghan women. So just to be clear, um, this is news coming out of one specific province, um, not the entirety of, Afgan of Afghanistan, but it's still obviously extremely deeply concerning given that, like I said, when they have these supposed plans to make sure that there are female doctors so that they can maintain gender segregation, essentially, but when they're banning women from attaining any form of education, then when there are programs to, cha to train women because they've been missing several years of school, there is no cohort to train. So there are, are a severe lack of female doctors, if any. So, um, it's just, I don't know. I mean, there's, I mean, it's just horrific. It's just absolutely horrific. And it could deeply confuses me. Like, I think it, it, when I think about it in reality, which is so dark, it makes more sense. And the reality is because I was thinking like, well, these Talibs, like they're going to have women in their life that get sick. Like they're going to have their wives who start to miscarry and, or need to, you know, have healthy pregnancies if they, if, for the sake of if the only thing they freaking care about is these children pumping out babies. Like you have an interest in women having access to doctors for the sake of your own freaking, you know, male heirs that you want, like that kind of thing. Even if it's completely selfish interest, right? You still have an interest in women's health for your own you know, agenda. But then I was thinking like, well, the reality is, is that the Talibs that are high up, they're going to, the, the, the women that they care about that need this treatment, they're going to get the treatment that they need regardless of the gender of the doctor, the sex of the doctor. That's the fact. The, the, the people who have access, the people who need it, this is not going to apply to them. It's just going to affect everyone else. And so it just, it just boggles my mind. Like, what do they think is going to happen? I don't, I don't know. Armin, what is your reaction to this? Okay, I want to be fair here, okay? As well, much as... Tread lightly. Okay. As much as I am anti-Islam, there is... There is no reason for this in Islam. Like Taliban is somehow managing to be worse than Islam for some reason. Okay, as bad as Islam is, Taliban is somehow capable of being worse because Islam allows Islam specifically allows if like for women to see male doctors, um, especially if there are no female doctors available, right? So I mean, Islam allows many things if it's about health-related stuff. You know, Islam allows you to even, you know, eat dead people or, you know, eat pigs or, or drink alcohol, whatever you need to survive, right? So I don't understand where they're getting this from. Like, there's low, 
But can somebody educate us about where Taliban is getting this conclusion from, where that women cannot see male doctors? Because I'm, I'm, there's no, there's nothing in Islam that, that bans this. I don't understand. Do you this. think it comes from a perspective of, um, like, I can think of it two ways. One of them would be to help prevent the temptation of men, and the other one would be to protect the chastity of women kind of opposite sides of the same coin and of course these are purported reasons right i don't think that they're these actual reasons like the reason why they're closing down women's universities is because a lack of a hijab like that's why quote unquote they have other motivations much more pressing in the political realities that fuel those decisions right i know but this this doesn't serve any of those purposes yeah do you think that this is fueling some of the political necessities that they're facing? Like why trying to, what? because you know, they're having issues with ISIS K right. And losing I know, but like, K. well, why would you lose membership over this? Like your members are like Taliban members are like, Oh, do something that even Islam is not asking us to do. You know, like, why would that be a demand? Maybe they, Maybe they just like their member, like maybe just they don't know Islam and they just like, yeah, segregation all the way. Why not? I mean, like, there's a lot of reasons to believe that. Uh, but like, <laughs> I mean, um, you're like, yeah, that sounds that sounds Islamic enough to me. <laughs> I don't know. God. Like you just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe it's um, from a sense of like, our members are freaking out because they no longer have a war to die for and become a freaking martyr. And ISIS K is telling me that these Talibs are coffers. So the Taliban is like, oh, okay, let's just show that we're actually super hardline. Like we need to be even more hardline. We need, like, it's not even Islamic. We just need to go, like, somehow super hardcore to prove that we are hardcore enough to run this country. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's... That's the only thing I can think of. Besides just, like, abject cruelty. Women are... So many women are going to die because of this. It's so messed up. I can't even imagine what the, like, the, like, mortality rate after childbirth is already versus what it's going to be after this, women are going to be dying of sepsis left, right, and center. Like, it makes me so upset. And you see these videos of girls in Afghanistan just sobbing, and they say, like, literally, this one girl is crying. She's like, what crime did I commit to be born a woman? Hmm. It's just so tragic. I don't even... All right, I need to highlight. Yeah, go ahead. Doctor Hypnos is saying, I think it's because of the hadith that says a man and a woman can't be in the same room. Well, okay, but we're saying that there are exceptions to this. Islam allows for exceptions, especially this, like you know, when it comes to um, life and death and health related stuff. There's exceptions, okay? That is Islamic teaching. Also, this is amazing. Uh, Sergo is saying Armin sounds like an uh, like Islamic apologist. Okay. Okay. You- <laughs> yeah you are you guys are so dogmatic when it comes to your anti-islam views that when you're trying to be fair and in your criticism of islam you guys see that as islamic apologies apologism right i have dedicated so much content into fighting islamic belief so just because i'm not dogmatically just um one directional when it comes to my criticism and i don't uh, criticize islam based on what is real you know rather than just being anti everything even being so divorced from reality that i cannot be fair to what 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 i'm actually criticizing what 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 reality is rather than what the picture i have created in my mind so if that's if you see that as islamic apologism that shows that how much um how simple-minded you are and how dogmatic you are in your fight against like these kind it's of not ideas. apologism to be like i'm actually very educated on this ideology okay. and this isn't actually part of this ideology all right, <laughs> all right so sergey is saying joking joking armin probably right okay, okay all right guys how can i like look at the comment okay like if how could you tell that this is a joke okay maybe put like a 
um, you know, emoticon with a tongue out or a <laughs> slash S or a JK at the end of it. Like, do you guys understand that a comment like this, there's no way for us when you're reading like a comment to know if this is serious or not. So I'm going to treat them as serious unless you guys need to clarify that this is not serious. Like, what am I supposed to do with it? Right. Okay. <laughs> but that was good. What anyways, can you because, do? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but it's good anyways, because I, we, we responded to that kind of, um, yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. Um, so I, saying, I just, just mimic the trolls who accuse Armin of being an apologist. <laughs> well, you do an effective job. <laughs> yes, yes. Get my best selling book. Why there is no God for free. Click on the link for it in the description. <laughs>